What's going on guys? Here is another episode of Max Pinkatona, and this time we were going against Vinny Gogniti, except he kind of escaped. Although he did shoot him, so he leaves behind a trail of blood. We just took out these goons and let's just go on ahead and track him down. Vinny Gogniti was running scared. He could run, but with a bullet in the stomach like a broken bottle of Tabasco, he was quickly running out of time. He knew where his boss was, and I wanted to square things up with Jack Lupino. Gogniti would be moving fast. I don't know about angels, but it's fear that gives men wings. Alright, I did fix that problem where the reload key was indeed bound to numpad zero. So, we shouldn't run into any more reloading glitches. Except that it really wasn't a glitch, but... This is where... yeah, this is where he went, okay. What was that? <laughs> okay, it was... <laughs> that was a glitch. It was still going slightly slower than usual. Oh shit! Gagnetti hitched a ride. Catch him, I'd have to follow his lead. Whoopa! Wonderful. This was my second train ride of the night. The way it started didn't promise anything better than the last one. Freezing wind tearing at my face like sandpaper and razors, ice hard and slick under my hands and feet. Somewhere in the background, the wail of sirens, the city howling after me. New York sped by and fast forward, dark rooftop water towers and a dead forest of antennas and chimneys, all a blur. When the train he was riding slowed down, Gogniti made his move. Those are some crazy fucking moves. I don't know how you can do a flip like that with a bullet wound, but... Alright, this part is a little challenging, so I'm looking forward to this. Some bad guys are going to come through the corner over there, I'm pretty sure. I wanted to jump off the wall and do one of these wall flips, but that shotgun, that wasn't a very good idea. No, 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 no. Come on, Max. Making a habit of saving. Of course. Too easy. There he is. I don't think so. It's pain! He's coming down the stairs! Shoot the bastard! Okay, boss, you got it. No problem. 
Got a machine gun, a desert eagle? Oh man, I don't think I should use the katana. Save again! Yes! God damn it. God damn it. I would have knocked his head off too. That would have been cool. Wow, this guy was loaded. He had an engram and a desert eagle. That is ridiculous. was a glitch, pretty sure. That guy... As far back as I can recall, that guy is also glitchy. You kill him and he'll still be standing or something. Here's another glitch for you. Vinny will be stuck on the fence. Also, that is not a good position for him to be in. He should be in the middle. Yeah, that will usually unstuck him, but he should be in the middle. Guess I'm gonna have to restart. Fuck, Vinny. He knows. He knows I can't do anything about this. Maybe if I load an earlier save. Let's try this one. That was kind of cool. What the hell? Why the fuck is this happening? Are you kidding me? That's ridiculous. Okay, I am gonna... I'll be right back. Okay, we got the fucker to move. God, what a pain in the ass. Because, as you can see, my knives on the floor here. Oh, uh, no! Hey, what?
Where'd he go? It was a guy with an engram up here. Shit. God damn, that was close. Oh, screw you. Wow, that was excessive. But I love it. Yes. Jesus Christ. Where is that guy? Oh, that's crap. We got him. No, Max. Don't do that. Fine. I will go this way. What the fuck was I gonna do? I guess I can try out the halberd again. I want to mix things up as I go. Oh, shit. Another machine gun lackey. That was fucking retarded. Yes! Gotcha. That was stupid. I shouldn't have done that, but it turned out better than I thought, so everything's okay. Aren't there supposed to be guys here? I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be guys. I am pretty sure. Holy Christ! I thought I was done for. Oh, look at all the ammo. Shit! Oh, that was good. That was close. Eat it. to capturing him. He'll get a full statement then. Right now, I've got better things to do, ma'am. That was Deputy Chief Jim Brevera from the NYPD with no further comment at this time. Apart from his suspicious food habits, I figured Brevera to be one of the good guys. Fate had just dropped us on different sides in this. But when it came to capturing me, he was way out of his league. I had already ditched the cops a couple of rooftops back. For now, God, this is stupid. It's down, right? Okay. I can't tell. It doesn't show me a preview. Yeah. I, I can hear him. Ready? Take your gun. Go in at the door. Okay. This is it. Any moment now, Payne's gonna bust through that door with murder in his eyes. 
It's either him or us. I, for one, am gonna pump the SOB so full of lead, they'll need a forklift to carry the coffin to the whack! <laughs> These guys, yeah. You guys got fucked majorly. You don't fuck with the max pain, all right? You just don't do that. Come on. You can't break this. <laughs> okay. We'll go this way then. These guys are really duking it out with the grenades. Nice hit, but it wasn't enough. Now oh, here's the final part. Open, God damn it! Pain! Kill you, you lousy, freaking cop. All those shells I wasted. Alright, here we go. Let's go. Let's do some stunts. Beautiful. Now let's finish him off. Oh shit. Gogniti ran out of steam in a dead end alley with steam boiling out of the sewer grates like all the fires of hell were burning high beneath us. It was shakedown time. Where's Lupino? Screw you! Bad start, Vinny. Ah! Police brutality! I rate pretty high on that. You, 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 you can't just hurt me in cold blood? Uh, just keep telling yourself that. <gasps> Listen good, candy man. I'm not gonna be anybody's fall guy. I wanna know where your boss is hiding. There was no glory in this. I hadn't asked for this crap. Trouble had come to me in big dark swarms. The good and the just were like gold dust in the city. I had no illusions. I was not one of them. I was no hero. Just me and the gun and the crook. My options had decreased to a singular course. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, just don't hurt me no more. Lupino's at Ragnarok, the nightclub. Book me, take me in the whole minute to freaking jail, just don't hurt me. Your rights will be read at your funeral. Ragnarok was Lupino's private nightclub, a den of drugs built into an old theater. I knew what waited inside. V had junkies ready to explode in random acts of senseless violence, and Lupino's goon squad, the worst stone cold killers this side of hell. Ragnarok was as inviting as a headache, flickering and flashing to a machine gun beat. The belly of the nightclub was a gothic theme park that began with bondage games and led to the nasty stuff from there. As subtle with its dark message as a cop killer bullet through the heart. Like father, like son. Just like Jack Lupino. Oh, right. Ragnarok. We've got ten more minutes, so we can, uh... 
Kill some bastards until then. Fuck you, TV! Ah, oh, shit. What's wrong, Max? He just realized that this stage is a little difficult. But this is a pretty cool stage. At least I think so. Uh, what was I gonna do? Shit, I had something on my mind. There's a secret door, I think. Aha! had never been a bestseller. Given the setting, I was surprised to find that somebody had been passing time reading. The paperback was entitled, The Age of Murder and Storm. The blurb on the back mentioned Norse mythos and Ragnarok, the end of a Viking world with a terrible winter that covered the earth in ice, when vile crimes were rampant and all humanity lost. I could see how somebody impressionable might get it into their head that we were at the end of time. I was also beginning to see what the nightclub and its owner were all about. There's someone throwing knives. I can throw knives too! <laughs> Get out of here! Knew that was going to happen. Max, what are you doing? Jesus Christ. How irritating. Gotcha. Fucking hell, really? Fucking piece of shit. You fucking little bitch. Get the fuck over here. I'm not playing games with you fuckheads anymore. Ass wipe. Knife's back. doing back here? I'm getting tired of your shit! Is 
This is why I fucking save all the time. This is why. Jesus, titty fucking Christ. I love this camera though. I love it. Get out of here, you little bitch. Books on the occult. The room was stacked with light reading, such as Necronomicon, Witchcraft, and Paradise Lost. Old exotic titles like Malleus Malficarum and De Umbrarum Rainy Novum Portis. Books with pentagrams on their covers, all dealing with the occult and the infernal. Lying between stacks of horror videos and a couple of Ouija boards. The only thing I could take seriously was the thought of Lupino taking it seriously. He had been spending a lot of time getting intimate with the guy downstairs. Piled on the table. I don't fucking care. That was something else, not this game, guys. All right. Let's see. We've got a few minutes left. Fucking assholes. Fucking scrub. What are you gonna do with that gun? You're not gonna do shit. You should get a Desert Eagle or something. That would probably give me more of a challenge. Come on, that wasn't the end of it? Why would you give me that cinematic camera view then? I'll get you. God damn it. See how much that shit hurts? Wrecked, asswipe. Let me taunt you. Let me taunt your butt. Oh yeah! Piece of shit. I'll murder all you fuckers. Well, gee whiz, it's getting about that time, and wow. Fuck this game, brah. Oh, hey. God. It really is terrible when you forget to save. It's so fucking bad. It pisses me off.
We're gonna take this asshole out who killed me and then we're just gonna stop. How should I do it? Fuckhead. Oh, what am I saying? Your head's gone, bitch! Was that his head? Looks like a different skin to me. Let me save and end this here, guys. Thank you for watching this episode of Max Payne Katana. We will continue next time and try to find Jack Lapino in this crazy hellhole of a fucking nightclub. So I'll see you then. Please like the video. Bye. Damn right. Get him! Oh, sure. There were two of them. That sucks.